Hi everybody, today I am back in the kitchen and I am super excited because I am cooking something new in a new gadget. It is a Alvinori 3.2 quart 11 inch enameled cast iron tagine. What do you cook in a tagine? Turns out that's a self answering question. You cook a tagine in a tagine. What is a tagine? It is a Moroccan stew. It comes in several varieties. I am cooking a chicken tagine today and I would be delighted if you would join me. So pull up a chair. First, I'm going to create a marinade for the chicken and I'm going to start off with the juice of one lemon. I think we got this juicer from Ikea. You can use whatever juicer you have or even a bottle of lemon juice. I don't know how that would affect the flavor compared to real lemon juice or fresh lemon juice, but uh, you use what you have. The recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm going to take that under advisement. I prefer the smell and flavor of fresh, so I'm just going to break off this nub and chop it up and throw it in the little food processor here, and I think it's going to be delightful. The recipe calls for two cloves of garlic. I always go a little heavy because I love the flavor of garlic and you don't know how big your cloves are compared to there. So let's go three cloves of garlic. And just to grease the wheels, I'm going to put the lemon juice in here and grind it all up. I put a bag in this cup just to keep the bag upright. I'm going to add all of the marinade ingredients into the bag put the chicken in the bag, seal it on the vacuum sealer, and we're ready for marinating. Teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is salt and pepper to taste. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? You can't taste it. I'll just add some salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to seal the bag, massage the spices in, and we're ready to marinate. You certainly do not have to use a vacuum sealer for this. I'm not vacuuming it. I am just using the, the vacuum seal bags and I'm sealing the bags. I just think that works really well for marinating. You can also use a Ziploc bag, that would be perfectly fine, or uh, even just sitting in a bowl. I just like the bag. The chicken is bagged and sealed. I am just massaging in the marinade, trying to spread it evenly. They say let it marinate for at least an hour, so I will probably extend that to two hours, and we'll be on to the next step. The chicken has been marinating for the past two hours. I just started the rice in the rice cooker. There's very little prep. I just have to mince this onion, slice up this bell pepper, and we're ready to cook. I brought out my induction cook plate, and I will note that the Alva Nori works great on the induction. So I'm just going to add some olive oil and start the onion cooking. I put it on an apron since I'm working with oil. Looks like the oil is plenty hot, so time to cook the onion. The onion looks good. I'm going to add the chicken and brown it on all sides. I actually don't know how brown this needs to be. It still has to go in the oven for 45 minutes, so I, I don't think we need it to be crispy. I'm removing the chicken and putting it on a plate, and then we'll be ready for the next step. I'm adding broth to the pot. I think at least part of the purpose is to deglaze the pan. I was supposed to saute the bell pepper first, and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> Tell you what. I will move this over there and get a different pan to saute the bell pepper, and then we'll move on to the next step. I just need to saute these red peppers until they are slightly soft. I'm going to add the peppers back to the tagine. Let's give it a little stir. The only thing that remains is to 
put the chicken back into the tagine. The broth is supposed to partially cover the chicken. It only calls for a cup, but I'm pretty sure I put about like two and a half cups of in there. That was my own uh, homemade bone broth, so it should be extra delicious. This calls for a half cup of pitted green olives, which doesn't seem like a lot to me. We'll see what it looks like in the cup. All right, I'd say this is a fair number of olives. Let's spread those out. The last thing we do is add a quarter cup of raisins. Now this is kind of adventurous for me. Normally I have a rule where I don't mix fruit and meat and I can always pick them out, right? The last step is to cover and cook. You're supposed to cook this on low for 45 minutes or an hour. And my understanding is that the nature of the tagine is that the the steam will rise from the dish and be gathered up at the top, condense back into its liquid form, and then be distributed back over the, uh, over the food. See you in an hour. Well, it has been an hour, so let's take a look and see what we have. Are we having tagine for dinner or ordering pizza? I think it looks like it's supposed to. All the Liquid did not boil away, which is one thing that I forgot to check on. <laughs> so that's good. I'm going to plate this up and we'll take a look. Well, what do you think? Does it look like it's supposed to? I was just about to hit publish on the video when I realized I forgot to review the tagine. The Alvinori is beautiful and I've never owned enameled cast iron before and I'm not sure what to think about it. I, I, I don't know how to take care of it. With my other cast iron, I have this chain link scrubbing thing that you can just dig in there and anything that's stuck on, you can just brutalize that thing off. I don't want to do that with the enamel because I think I'm going to scratch the enamel. And so when it came time to clean this, it I, there were some baked on stuff on the bottom of this thing and so I tried hot water and I tried just gently rubbing it out and that didn't do it so what I ended up doing is I had a, a hard plastic scrubbing brush it's got a it's got a, a hard plastic end and so I was scraping it with the hard plastic end and that worked fine so it's that wasn't the problem I got everything off that it needed to come off and it's clean, but it's just not what I'm used to. I love that it worked with the induction cooktop. That's common with cast iron. I wasn't sure with the enameled cast iron. I hadn't worked with that before. The chicken was moist and very tender. I would say that was a, a great success. Having never cooked a tagine before in my life, I, I was surprised. I didn't hate the raisins. <laughs> <laughs> and the chicken was good. I'm curious what else I can do with this, the, the non-traditional uses of the tagine. This is a quality piece that if you are looking, if you are used to cooking with a tagine, then I think you would be proud to own this. I've heard that traditional tagines are made of clay. This is far more durable than clay. It, it, the cast iron is thick it is it heats evenly it could be used in the oven now, i don't know if that affects the properties of the tagine or not but it, i don't see why you couldn't use this in the oven i think this is a five out of five experience all i can tell you is that it's well made and it worked for me thanks for stopping by